welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are here to do this beautiful, gorgeous, burgundy look. Perfect for fall time. I enjoy these colors. I recently posted a look on this on my Instagram and it looks like this right over here. I got so many likes, more than usual, and I was super excited because I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna start sticking with these colors, especially for fall time. I did a nice, sexy, burgundy look on the eye and just went a little softer on the lips, which I always tend to do. I go darker on the eyes, lighter on the lips, vice versa. Go lighter on the eyes and then darker on the lips just like to mix it up here and there so I hope you guys enjoy this look and if you guys want to achieve it then go ahead and continue watching this light shade right over here and applying this to our outer corner I already primed my lid using the NYX cosmetics eyeshadow primer so we're all set ooh, ooh, we did not clean our brush honey we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen okay And then we're gonna start taking this. We're gonna start taking this shade right over here and applying this to the outer corner. I've been using this palette a lot, and I really love it. A lot of you guys have been asking me for a makeup tutorial on my Snapchat, and I don't know. I haven't. I haven't done makeup tutorials in a while, just because I'm not sure if you guys watch them or not. <laughs> So I'm like, eh, should I do them? Should I not? So I've been sticking to my IG tutorials. But every time I post an IG tutorial, I get a few people telling me, hey, do a YouTube tutorial. So I'm here today doing a YouTube tutorial for you guys. I hope that means something to you. So as you guys see, we're getting that kind of like a harsh line up here. So I'm going to take that same transition color that I first used and applying that on the top area right over here. So we're going to take a deeper color, this color right over here, and start applying that to our outer corner. I've been watching this new show on Netflix. I'm like addicted. Um, it's called Scandal. I'm like super hooked and I'm trying to like stay focused on my editing and on my videos but it's so hard so I'll be like editing my videos and watching Scandal at the same time. If you guys haven't seen that you guys will understand the true feeling of my favorite show. It's like uh. <laughs> Guys, so guess what? My birthday is coming up. It's actually in November, we're still in September, but I feel like time just goes like that. So I'm like, what am I gonna do for my birthday? And you know what, honest truth, I never ever do anything for my birthday. I don't know why, I just don't think I usually spend it with my family just because my birthday is um, literally a day before Thanksgiving or a day after. So everyone's like with their fam bam. So I never really plan anything. But this year, I don't know, I just want to do something for my birthday. Get all dolled up and cute. I just don't know what to do. Do you guys have any suggestions? Like, I'm so over the Pasadena, Fullerton, like, no. Part of me wants to travel. Ooh, I always say I want to travel, but I don't do it. Like, it's just, like, nerve-wracking to just go traveling. Would any of you guys want to go with me? Like, would anyone want to be my friend for a weekend? Okay, so we're just taking deeper colors and we're just dabbing this on the outer corner. On this part, I do things a bit different than others. I'm not sure if others do this, but I feel like people, whenever... <laughs> I feel like YouTubers, they always do their eyeshadow like very neat. Me, I'm a messy girl, so... I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I always take my eyebrow brush. I have two separate ones. And I'll use one of them for my eyeshadow. And then one of them for my eyebrows, of course. And then that's where I kind of like start lining the shadow. So that it can just stay in this area. Because I feel like whenever I use like this kind of brush... It kind of just like starts lifting up and gets like all over the place when really I just wanted to stay focused right over here. So that's why I use this type of brush. It's very fine and thin. I have more control with the shadow. 
And it's okay if it gets below and super messy because we're going to carve that out with concealer. So you guys don't have to worry about that. And we're going to take that same tiny brush and take the, a black shade and apply this to our outer corner. Just be careful with black. You don't want to take too much black and it's just going to become a huge mess. And I just kind of like start dabbing it in there. That first red shade and blend out this area. Sweeping it back and forth. Taking the NYX matte liner and applying our eyeliner. This is my favorite part. So I always like to kind of like start over here. And then I like to draw out my line. And then we start at the tippy point. And voila! Of course, we're gonna go in with concealer, fix, clean everything up. It has to look messy before we make it look nice and sharp. So this is the part where we carve out this area. We're gonna start in the inner corner. So if you feel like this eye doesn't match the other eye, this just can take in some more product, eyeshadow product, and start blending it together. For lashes, I'm going to be taking Wispy for Days by Violet Voss. I'm just going to be applying a little bit of mascara to my regular lashes. And we're going to be taking Duo Glue and applying this to the lash line. Then we're going to be taking the NYX Honey Do Me Up. I know it looked empty, but the product, like, since it was tilted to the side, kind of stood on the side. Then we're just going to be blending this into the skin as well. So I've been adding these two products to my face application, and it's the Pore Filler by NYX. Notice how much of a difference. My skin has been really weird lately. Um, I think it's because, you know, that time of the month. So I'm going to be applying this to this area. And I just feel like it adds a huge difference in covering my pores. And it's also very affordable. I feel like it's kind of like a dupe for the, um, the Benefit pore filler. And then I take my NYX Shine Killer. And I also apply this to the places where I am oily which is definitely my forehead. I really love these products because I feel like it doesn't um, make my skin feel oily. Certain products do tend to do that. Certain primers as well. So I do really like the finishing to these two products. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Coverage. I have a tester sample at the store location. So I'm going to use this product to see if it will match my skin color better. I'm usually shade 44 natural. This one's 47, so I'm going three shades darker. <laughs> I don't know, okay, so I guess my opinion is why I like to go like a little lighter is because I bronze the heck out of my face after I use my foundation. So I have this idea that maybe I'll look too like darker than my body if I were to bronze. This is the shade 73, Creamy Beige. I like to kind of like bring it by the liner and sharpen it up.
Then we're gonna take our Ben Eye powder, put it in the tip, and start baking underneath her eyes. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. So now let's start applying our bronzer. I feel like this is a dupe for Give Me Sun by MAC Cosmetics. And we're just going to be applying this to our face. Always applying it to our forehead. And then to tie together the smoky waterline, we're going to be applying mascara to our bottom lashes. I feel like this is what completes the smoky eye. I love this part. Oh my gosh, look at that. Taking the J Cat highlighter, my favorite highlighter of all time, and we're going to be applying this to our cheekbones. So you can see it's highlight, it's popping girl. You know I love this lip liner. It's already almost gone. It's actually my top seller in the store too. And then I'm going to be taking, this is my favorite combination, um, the Abu Dhabi by NYX. And to finish off this look, we're just going to add some highlight to the inner corner of our eyes. Just to get like a nice pop in there. And it looks like we are all set guys. This is the finishing look. And woof, it came out good. And we're all set. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. My website will be listed below as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys.